Uh, Assalamu alaikum. So today in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use console program or console environment or to generate just a console application using visual bb.net. To do that, you just after launching your application, you click on new program. It's going to ask you to choose the type of program. Are you going to use a Windows form application or a console this one we're going to do we are going to use console so we choose console and give it a name for this one i will choose just first program first program to be the name of my application i will click ok so this will just create a fresh blank application with only one model and under that particular model with only a uh, another <laughs> sub uh, what do you call it per routine i uh, okay, sorry not sub routine but a, a function or a method a mem method with a mem method it comes with a mem method so all the, whatever you are going to do for this as a beginner we're going to write all our code within this main method since this program is just, just display a message so we use this console dot right line. So with the right line, you can display a message to your, uh, uh, you can display message using console. For example, let's just use hello world as our first program. So by writing this one, if we run the application, it will just display the message within console and just disappear. Even though the program worked, but at least if you want to user, if you want to user to see it, you need to make the application to wait for an input that will allow you to read the message. So to do that, you just write uh, console or treat line, and with an open uh, bracket, you uh, with the open and closing bracket, and leave it like this. This write line will display the message and this read line the function of this read line is to accept input from the user so the application will wait for user to provide an input after making that input since we're not going to use any use that input it should just end the program so after running it will just display hello world you see can you can as you can see the blinking cursor is waiting for an input for a user to provide an input so you can just press escape enter any key after it enter which goes in the program so what of if we can modify this application to allow user to provide an input maybe then later you display that particular input that particular input and combine with an uh, with uh, your own output so even though we haven't talked about variable but we are just going to create a string variable now but later in our video uh, when we want to cover about variable we'll discuss all the types of variable we have so now i'm going to say dim for example name as a string so i'm creating a variable with a name as a name maybe i will let me change it to full name that is the name of my variable i want to store an input and accept users full name so to accept user's full name, you just use a full name as a variable and equals to then you say console.read line. So this read line will read whatever input the user provided. So if I'm to put my full name, maybe Omar Blaravi, it will store the Omar Blaravi in this one. So under this one, we can remove this yellow wall and say, okay, we put the full name, full name here. We concatenate it with maybe hello world. Or we move this hello world and say welcome to my program. Welcome to my program. So now this application will accept an input from the user and display the name of the user together with welcome to my program. So now if we are running it, it don't ask us well, there's not any caption. So let me just put my name Omar Blarabe and press enter. It will say Omar Blarabe, welcome to my program. But at least to make your application interactive, you need to tell the user what to do or what you are expecting from him. So we we call, uh, we rewrite it like this and say, okay, now provide your 
full name put a colon something like this so the application will be like an interactive this one will display a message to a user provide your full name as he's typing the full name the, his name the application will accept the name within this read line and store it into this inside this variable uh a variable string variable full name so and finally we will display the name and say welcome to my program so as we run it you say provide your name sorry to say provide your name maybe the, his name is isa oh isa omar the moment you press enter it will say okay isa omar welcome to my program this is a simple application i just did in order to show you how to accept data from user display it and that's all so thank you for watching